Welcome back. I am not alone in studio. I am joined by brilliant minds. I think that is the word for for you guys. Uh, Karibuni yeah. sana. <laughs> How have you been? You've been good. Both of, since both of last you, time. yes, both of you guys have been here. Yeah? Oh, boy. <laughs> I don't know where to start fighting you. <laughs> way back. <laughs> no, way back. I want you to say hi to our audiences. To salimieni tu, to ambie mekua wapi, what are you guys about before we delve into the interview of the day. Tuanze na wamboi. Okay. Yeah. Uh, my name is Wamboi Gade. I am a filmmaker. I'm the screenings manager at DocuBox. I'm a creative myself. And yeah, it's a pleasure to be here. It's been so many months since we yes. got back. <laughs> but we're happy. Thank you so much for the opportunity to, you welcome. know, talk about the work that we're doing. Exactly. Yeah. Karibu. And Ken. Yeah, my name uh, is Ken Kigunda yes. Harrison. Uh, again, I'm a communication and PR specialist for DocuBox. Mm -hmm. Happy to be here always. It's, this is home. Yes. And we're always excited to be here. To have conversation, interesting conversation about storytelling, climate yes. change, and all issues pertaining um, people-centered climate-themed yes. stories. Exactly. Yeah. I, I like the fact that you guys can tell a story about anything and about everything. <laughs> oh, yeah. That is why it's always <laughs> exciting to have you here. Yeah. And I'm like, okay, so are you telling a story about what this time? Because it could be anything <laughs> that, you know, concerns and pertains yes. an everyday individual we are in this country. Us. Africa and the world in general. Yeah. Um, one boy, I want you to take us Kidogo just briefly through DocuBox because I am imagining maybe someone is watching for the first time. They are wondering, okay, someone, someone screening manager. Docu what is DocuBox? Right. Yes. Okay. Yeah. Um, so DocuBox is the East African Documentary Film Fund. Yes. That was funded by Judy Kibinge, our mm -hmm. executive director and yeah. creative director. Uh -huh. um, she has a background in filmmaking mm -hmm. and advertisements. So what better position to put yourself exactly. out there and of course understand what filmmakers are going through. Yes. So that's why um, she came up with this organization that would support filmmakers yes. from the East African region. Yeah. And by support, I mean through funding. So we give money to make films. Yes. Um, we do, and that, these are grants. Yes. So we don't expect anything back. Yes. <laughs> um, yeah, una pewa, you create <laughs> Ken Shika. Yeah, supporting filmmakers. Um, yes. We also do capacity building yes. because we do understand and um, emphasize on the quality of work that comes from the region. Yes. Sir. So of course we we nurture that through trainings. Yeah. Um, these are through master classes and workshops. Mm -hmm. But we also do screenings. Yes. Um, so we do impact screenings mm -hmm. um, where we take the films to the communities mm -hmm. where the conversations needs to need to happen. Yeah. Um, but we also do a commercial short film screening mm -hmm. called the Shots, Shots and Shots, yes. where we screen short films, yes. people come dressed in their shots, yes. and we drink shots. Exactly. <laughs> wow, I like that's such a nice package wrap up for, for it, but if there's one thing I like about DocuBox is your follow-up game. Like, I like that it's not just a money dispensing something. Yes. Yes, that you dispense the money, you provide the, like you have said, through master classes, you train, so that by the, the end product we are seeing has really been, you have walked the journey before you, you know, the end product. And the fact that screenings also now provide us a chance to watch the end product. I really, really do love that about DocuBox. So, ladies and gentlemen, that is what DocuBox is all about. Ken, um, yeah. Climate Story Lab. Yes. Yes. What is it so, about? Um, what do you do? Climate Story Lab Africa is part of uh, DocuBox. Mm -hmm. And as well, we partner with Tunga Africa. Yeah. We partner with Doc Society. Uh -huh. And now, with the, of course, Nairobi County. Yes. Um, Nairobi Festival, mm -hmm. as well as uh, the government itself through yeah. the Ministry of Youth. Yeah. But, um, so this year we take a different route. Mm -hmm. We decided let's come to town, let's see people, let's uh, introduce something called Cinema Tao. Yeah. So what we're doing during African Climate Week is just that we want to bring people uh, to the conversation. Because yeah. you know these conversations are always held in boardrooms. Yeah. But how do we now have conversation with the people who are directly affected? And also, who have the solutions to the climate uh, climate crisis that we're facing? Yeah. So that's why we are in town, mm -hmm. Hilton, uh, from today mm -hmm. till Friday, yeah. uh, screening amazing films. Yes. Both short films, docu films, and also long 
length feature. Yes, feature. and we are going to get in depth about that whole conversation because yeah. that is where we are here. Ken, I may decide to give my next four questions. Oh, sorry. So we are okay. <laughs> we are doing well. <laughs> we are doing great. Um, what other activities has Climate Story Lab had before? before so we, come to cinema we began Climate Story Lab Africa in 2021 yes. after COVID, uh -huh. and without um, this conversation, we're always held uh, COP something, COP 26, COP 27. Yeah. You know, since the beginning of this, yeah. or at the very uh, high level kind of um, summits and events that mm -hmm. we have. But yes. we thought, what about um, the common person, mm -hmm. you and I? Do we really understand the colloquial language that is used, uh, you know, to speak about climate? Yeah. And it can be very jargonistic, it can be very heavy, mm -hmm. sci scientific, very heavy, and research-wise. Yeah. And we thought, but there is power in storytelling. So how do we use our storytellers to be able to communicate to the community because mm -hmm. people communicate. Africa, we are known best for storytelling. Yeah. And we are always storytellers. If you remember back in the days, if you had a grandma, grandpa, they would yes. always tell you stories. Exactly. And that's how they would teach you about life skills. Mm -hmm. That's how they would teach you about uh, culture and so many other things. And yes. we thought, how do we bring this aspect into the space mm -hmm. so that people can be able to understand that these issues are happening now, yes. these issues are affecting them, and they can be actually, they can take actions that can lead to solution. Because we believe yeah. Africa actually is one of the continent. It actually the continent that can provide solutions to to the climate change, and that's yeah. why now we began first climate change in 2021, mm -hmm. second one in 2022, and now this, 2023 this and third one. Third one. That is where our boy comes. How, in. how amazing! Yes. African Climate uh, mm -hmm. Week comes to Kenya. Comes to Kenya. Yeah. True, I, I like that. <laughs> I, I I saw that on the news yesterday, yeah. and I was like, and I, I had not seen it. This was after yeah. my preparations and everything. Then I see our president talking about uh, Africa Climate Summit, and I'm like, ooh, okay, we are part of a big conversation. conversation yeah. We are bringing it down to the people. Yeah. So, Umboy, you sat down with, of course, Climate, uh, climate Story Lab Africa, and um, so, um, thought about bringing films, uh, uh, films that are talking about climate. Yes. Uh, um, uh, had you uh, they, were these films before in DocuBox? Ama, you had to source them afresh. So what we do is yeah. um, we make use of the connections that we have, yes. and of course the good relationships that we have with filmmakers. Uh -huh. So they're films that we've come across yeah. um, over time, mm -hmm. but they're also films that are part of the curation this mm -hmm. week yeah. that we've also supported under DocuBox. Yes. So it's mm -hmm. a good yeah. mix of yes. in, um, internationally done films, yes. but that are very relatable and resonate with the people here. Yes. Um, it's a good mix of that and uh, of course our own stories. Yes. So these, by our own stories, I mean um, films that have also been done outside Kenya, yes. but are within Africa, mm -hmm. by other African filmmakers. Yes, yeah. um, I like that because I, I don't think you can talk about climate and just talk about Kenya. Like climate exactly. is global. You have to move out mm. to Africa, to the whole world exactly, mm. and how we are dealing with climate as all of us. And Ken has put it very nicely saying, Africa is in a position to change our climate uh, systems and if we, are, we need any positive impact, we are the ones to do it. Question. Yeah. Yeah. Um, we, we talked about this before we started the, the show, and we were talking about how the weather is unpredictable. Yeah. Like, is, is the and also the difference between climate and weather because i think we need to define <laughs> these things <laughs> it has become like is our climate better or is just worse like are we are we towards a positive trajectory or mm -hmm. we actually need to put in some work well um when you speak about whether the, is the daily yes daily experiences that uh -huh. we have but climate is long term ah, okay. so, so we are okay <laughs> yeah, fine so uh well uh, honestly no one can control yeah. Um, the weather on a daily basis, but mm -hmm. again, uh, we have to know that our concept, our actions, mm -hmm. are the consequences yes. of what we are getting now. Yeah. I mean, the unpredictable weather is because we are polluting um, the, the, the the atmosphere. Mm -hmm. We are really and human beings are most, you know, human beings are the most destructive animals yeah. in the world, and so that's why the reason we're calling into people: you must take care of where you live. Yeah. You must take care of what you eat, what you drink, and the air that you breathe. Yeah. Meaning that then we have. Uh, and the good thing is that Africa is the one of the less pollutant uh, um, continent. Uh -huh. We are less polluters. We don't pollute much. And then we have also resources that actually we can harness them and use them now to provide solutions to the mm -hmm. climate change. Mm -hmm. And so, yeah, that's why we really into this conversation. But again, you know, um, 
This cannot be done at the boardroom. Yeah. That's why we're moving this conversation to the street, this yeah. conversation to the community through impact screenings that we do as an organization, as DocuBoss plus other partners at, at uh, Clement Story Lab Africa. Yeah. And we just want people to be involved, to know that your actions mm -hmm. lead to the consequences that you see. So yeah. if you take better actions, then again, we will have uh, better results. results yeah. So we, we may not be able to control tomorrow whether it will yep. be hot or cold, but in long term, we can be able to do things exactly. can, that can affect the climate long term. Yes. Okay, I hope that you guys are listening and learning because I most <laughs> definitely am. Um, so you came up with Cinema Tao, uh, one boy, and I know you have mentioned networking, so that question comes to you. Who, which other people or organizations have you um, uh, networked with or are working in conjunction with for Cinema Tao? Um, so, of course, like mentioned um, mentioned by Ken, yeah. we're also working with the county government. Yes. Of course, we need permits exactly. in order to yes. do these things. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, we, we're working with uh, Kenya Film Commission, yes. um, the county government, mm -hmm. Tunga Africa, yeah. Climate Story Lab, of course. Yeah. There's DocuBox. Mm -hmm. um, so there are other partners as well that yeah. have come on board. Yes. And we're really, really glad that they've come on board because we understand in the, pow the power of collaboration is very important, exactly. especially when you have such a big goal to reach yes so um this power that comes with numbers exactly yes there is power in numbers in and numbers. in networking <laughs> exactly in networking will give you much more than even fans can because if you know who to connect with you know you know you can yeah. get a few resources here and exactly. there that are really helpful yeah. so what is the goal still to one boy what is the goal for cinema tower screening i think you both can answer that but like what do you at the end of the of the um, screening mm -hmm. What is the goal that you hope to achieve? Right. Yeah. So we have curated, um, and this I, I, I forgot to mention, yeah. which is very important, yeah. is we've curated um, a variety of films yeah. that cut across different thematic areas uh -huh. that touch on climate change. Yes. So giving people different perspectives, yes. different approaches, uh -huh. um, and different experiences, yeah. such as marine life. Uh -huh. We're talking about pastoralists and farmers. Yeah. We're talking about um, land de defense. Mm -hmm. We're talking about, w what's the last one? Um, yeah. Where we're human, forgetting human yeah. wildlife conflict. Um, conflict. Yeah. So all this contributes to climate change yes. and how different people are experiencing uh -huh. it across mm -hmm. the world. Yes. Um, so with this, uh, we are trying to expose people to to such experiences mm -hmm. in order to increase the conversations on the ground. Yes. People might not understand the adverse effects of climate change. In Nairobi, yeah. we might not feel it as much as someone who's in um, a dry area, yeah. for instance. Yeah. So exposing such stories mm -hmm. will definitely build empathy and yeah. definitely build um, what's the next step to take? Exactly. Like how can we contribute to um, climate advocacy? How yes. can we contribute to um, creating meaningful change? Yeah. So this is why we use storytelling mm -hmm. through film yeah. um, to have these conversations and to change these narratives and yeah. to change people's mindsets and mm -hmm. the way they th that they think yes. and to take action exactly yeah so that's why we are bringing these films to the heart of Nairobi exactly. to expose and and um, have people come watch yeah. reflect on the films yeah and hopefully create meaningful impact exactly and also think Nairobi is a good idea because it's a cosmos so someone yes. from the lake region will watch someone from central mm -hmm. someone where they do pastoral uh, pastoralist to uh, that you know, people who do keto rearing and stuff. Like all of us are here in Nairobi. Yeah. So we can be able to sit down and have that conversation. Um, so Ken, we, yeah. you mentioned something about taking these conversations out of the boardrooms and to the people. Mm -hmm. And I know Cinema Tao is doing that. I would like you to expound on that point, on that we are moving from Summit, KICC, you know, mm -hmm. Muko, to right here in town. Yeah, first of yeah. all, today, yeah. uh, we are privileged yes. to be also screening a film that will be premiering mm -hmm. at the KCC mm -hmm. during the summit ah, 730 okay. yes. but as well this film will also be screening concurrently mm -hmm. at the CBD yes. film it's mm -hmm. called between the rains mm -hmm. it's a film that speaks about um, the uh, I mean the conflict we, we usually see Trukana and Samburu yeah. and it speaks about how people are f when the rains people are good yeah. and this pasture there's no conflict and then yeah. after the rains goes off the dry, the, I mean, the rivers dry off, yeah. especially in the arid areas, mm -hmm. and then again, 
now this conflict we see no, we are between back to conflict. Yeah, community conflict where people yeah. now are fighting for pastures, mm -hmm. people are fighting for spaces and everything. Yeah. So this is a very amazing film mm -hmm. done by Andrew mm -hmm. and Duranera. Mm -hmm. So it's a it's a film that you can't miss to watch. Exactly. It's, and we are very privileged to be the first among the first people to screen it in yes. Kenya yes. Uh, today. Okay, Tonight. so we are definitely looking yeah. forward to that one. I'm going to yeah. be getting back to dates, but mm -hmm. I thought this is a good point to talk about the films that will be screened. Yes. So, um, boy, which films will be screening? Um, when, uh, or not when, where, uh, what time, rather, will they uh -huh. be screening? Okay, yes. so um, we'll be screening between the rings that yes. will be opening yes sir. um the series of screenings that we've curated yes from uh, from now mm -hmm. until friday yeah um we'll also be screening uh if turtles talked by tony adero yeah we'll be screening um river brown waters mm -hmm. by lisa mali mm -hmm. um delicado the territory mm -hmm. uh which other ones am i there, mm -hmm. there are a couple, couple. Yes. but I'm pretty sure that you have the poster. Yes, that you I can, do, you and we are actually oh, running that on our screen <laughs> for guys to be able to catch them because we may not be able, even they may not be able to get all of them, but we are running them on our screens. Guys, those are the uh, films that are going to be screened from today to Friday, so you have yes. an entire week. Surely, I know most of you, if not all of you, are going to find themselves at the CBD at some point this week, so make a point mm -hmm. to, you know, go for one of the screenings and actually see our uh, um, a different perspective mm. about the climate, about the weather in general, and you're going to pick up something. Yeah. You're going to learn something. So yeah. um, let's talk location exactly. Mm. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> yeah, <sorry. laughs> so you even, you either, you either, so you're waiting for a mat to yes. adjust to get home. Yeah. Then, um, that <laughs> long <laughs> with, you, you can be to, screaming uh, yes, at home as watching. you wait for traffic. Yeah, at Hilton, in front of Hilton Hotel, just yes. opposite Kencom. Uh -huh. um, uh, at the public space where people sit. Yes. So we'll be there screening films and trust you me to be an amazing thing. Yes. Yeah, we will. Um, uh, I mean, if you don't, don't wait for those long queues, just mm -hmm. come straight to where we are. Yes. As you wait, you can watch exactly. a film and grab a job and just go home at, after nine. Yes. Yeah. So from um, in, um, right in front of Hilton Hotel from today to Friday. 6 yes. p.m. to 9 p.m. The, the time when the traffic is just crazy. <laughs> So just uh, use those two hours. But the like, mama kwa line. Go there. You know, makuka kwa traffic for one and a half hours. That's enough time to come in and watch yep. the short films and just sit down and ask yourself, how are you personally contributing to this climate that we keep complaining about? Yeah. By As the way. a solution. Yes. How can you contribute positively? What solutions can you work, work uh, on to actually be able to better the climate? So we have, um, oh, also it's good to mention that this is free of charge. Yes. Yes, yes that it's free. You don't even want your bus fare free access, of charge. Access to anyone. Yes. So there will be, I'm assuming, will there be big screens or is it projectors or what is happening? So we'll have a blow up screen. Yes. Uh -huh. um, a, a portable one. Yes. So we'll put it up. So, and it's pretty big. So yes. anyone and anywhere can be, yes. will be able to see. Mm -hmm. But also something that we haven't mentioned mm -hmm. is we're also going to be having an exhibition that we'll be running there yeah. as well. Ah, artists. Okay. Um, uh -huh. So uh, for artists, uh -huh. um, artwork mm -hmm. um, on, on their understanding of climate change. And this mm -hmm. was done by young people. Yeah. Yeah. Um, so Learners. it would be very interesting mm -hmm. to have people come in and, and see that yes. and then finish up with the film that yes. starts at 7 p.m. Uh -huh. yeah. ah, so there are going to be exhibitions. So that one from 6 to 7, there's going to be that yes. going on. Mm -hmm. And is this open, like, are, there, are these already pre-organized artists? Ama, someone can just... What happened is that these are drawings that were done by students, yes. actually from uh, school level, primary level, and yes. high school level, ah, um, uh, through um, the meteorological department. Mm -hmm. And they are uh, amazing arts work. Mm -hmm. Actually, it was a project that was back in 2019, and, yeah. and then COVID happened. Mm -hmm. And this is the very first time these um, particular pieces are being displayed, displayed. to the public. Exactly. Yeah. Amazing work from our young brothers and sisters, our yes. kids. So it's good to come also and see the work that um, has been done by our own people and the understanding about climate yes. and the environment. Wow, I, I like that because like we said, you're bringing the conversations to right. the people yeah. and now going back even to students, I believe they're going to grow up better people. You know, like if there are things, if we talked about climate probably when I was in primary school, yeah. at length, like in depth, like mm. can you draw your understanding? Mm. 
I'd probably be a much better human being to the climate of the day, honestly. Yeah, you, might find, so, you might find a piece from your high school. Exactly, <laughs> from my high school, yes. right there. Yeah. Yes, so go there and just so you're getting another another plus, like Wamboi has said, you can go see the exhibitions. Are they, are they for sale? Can one purchase? Are they for sale? Well, That's a good question. Yeah. <laughs> well, if someone you can, know. I mean... We can find out. Find so out. We can <laughs> find out. Okay, so, so we're going money to, to find contribute out. To, to whatever up to the conversations that are going on. I mean, to yes. promote arts, but mm. we can find out definitely. Exactly. Please yeah. find out because yeah. I am imagining and I'm, I'm very hopeful for large numbers, and mm. large numbers come with different uh, interests. Yeah. So you might just find your people there who are willing to pay for art because this is this is pure art that has been drawn from a very unique understanding. So mm. I don't see why they cannot fetch some money in. Okay, so um, let's move on. So from there, so is there from today, 6 p.m. all the way to 9 p.m. to Friday, are there any activities, any other activities apart from the exhibitions? Yeah, yes. we will have a DJ as well, uh -huh. uh, as an interlude. Yes. Uh, do the conversation as before the break, mm -hmm. where people will have amazing songs from Africa and yes. from Kenya as well. Yeah. Um, yesterday we were making fun that uh, Kenyans should support Kenyan music. Yeah. We only most Kenyans come to support when we are having a war with uh, Nigeria. Yeah. <laughs> on Twitter, KOT. as long as it's, it's a, a Twitter battle, <laughs> so we, are we, are, there. we are there. We are there. <laughs> we are there. When it's, we draw lines now, when it comes, come please support also the local artists yes. in terms of the filmmakers mm -hmm. and also the the musicians and yes. um, arts work. Mm -hmm. The species that we have there, because it to be an amazing platform for us to have conversations. Yes. Again, can't just be part of the conversation because <clears throat> whatever decisions will be made here yeah. are the decisions that are going to lead to COP28 in Dubai. Exactly. So we have to be part of the decision yes. making, and there's no other time that we find better to do it rather than now. Exactly. Again, the amazing films from Kenya, a film like Thank You for the Rain, mm -hmm. uh, that we, we, I mean, it's, 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 it's shot by a farmer actually yeah. in Kitui Mtomo mm -hmm. called Kisilu. Yeah, and we Kisilu. talked about Kisilu the last yes. time we were here. Mm -hmm. Yeah, he's doing amazing work and yes. there's a lot of impact and we hope it rains mm -hmm. and they, <laughs> they yes. will be filled. <laughs> so, um, these particular films are really uh, important to us. These stories are um, actually we're calling them the, uh, our people's stories, yeah. stories of our people, mm -hmm. because they belong to the people. Exactly. There are stories that actually, there are things that are real things happening on the ground, real things affecting the people on the ground. So it's good to come and be part of that conversation. Yeah. And in your own space and in your own way, you find how can I be contributing to possible solutions yes. to the climate uh, crisis that we are in. Exactly. So there's going to be exhibitions, there's going to be screening, and there's going to be music. I think that, that that's a nice combo. Oh, mambo ni matatu. Tatu. Mambo ni muziki, <laughs> yes. cinema. Yes, Na exhibitions. <laughs> you know, you, you, you are covered. So if you get some time, and I know you will because you're always in the CBD, the time is perfect. So just get there, go to um, uh, the front of Hilton Hotel, and you're going to be enjoying some amazing time. Um, three hours, honestly, of just uh, you being part of the big conversations that keep going on around you. Um, uh, Umboy, is there a pro trajectory, a positive trajectory for climate, assuming that Cinema Tao does its job and delivers what you guys want it to deliver, starts this conversation square grassroots? Is there hope for better climate? I think there is, yeah. absolutely. Mm -hmm. um, and it's a prime time to have this conversation. Yeah. And what better way to use film to actually ignite exactly. and um, you know, facilitate these conversations. Yes. Um, so I think once we watch these films, once we have these conversations on the mm -hmm. ground, then you'd have a pos personal responsibility exactly. to contribute positively towards you know, yes. um, positive climate, yes. climate change. Yes. Yeah. Therefore leading to change, to positive exactly. change in our climate. All right, I think that that is a good run um we are going to be talking to uh we are going to be inviting people but just before you do that yeah. um what is docubox what are you guys at docubox and climate story lab working on past uh, cinema uh, past cinema tau do you want to go? <laughs> <laughs> Actually, yesterday we had a Shots, Shots and Shots yes. Kampala. Uh -huh. ah. um, we had another project that just, um, a workshop that ended a week ago. Yes. 
in October we have the Shorts, Shorts and Shorts Halloween edition yes. coming up. Ooh, yeah. um, so exciting <laughs> things that are happening at the office and, and uh, at the organization. Mm -hmm. But yeah. perhaps um, you could complement with more. Yes, uh, we have a lot of projects. <laughs> uh, we also have uh, Get Real mm -hmm. project that is happening. Um, mm -hmm. And this is all about sexual reproductive health and justice. Mm -hmm. um, and um, we have screenings that are coming up, school screening, Climate yeah. Story Lab in schools. Mm -hmm. We Aww. began with Bush Festival at Alliance High yes. School, and now we are also moving to other schools like mm -hmm. St. Peter's, Mias, to, yeah. um, together with Tunga Africa, mm -hmm. to uh, Miru School, uh, to very, various other schools in the country. Yeah. And this is why we are taking now conversations back to school, because yes. we believe that um, young people are the most, especially the young generation will be mostly adversely affected by the climate change, yes. and so they should be part of this uh, conversation and they should take actions. And through a beautiful film that was shot in Africa, yes. The Boy Who Harnessed the Wind, yeah. Uh, yeah. that we're screening to schools, we did it at Bush Festival in Alliance High School, mm -hmm. um, where um, it's, it's about a 13-year-old Malawian who was able to save his community from yes. farming yeah. through innovation. He went through, um, did uh, study a lot about physics, mm -hmm. and was able to come with a uh, weed, uh, weed mill that was able to generate energy, and yeah. through the energy they were able to get water. Yeah. They were um, going through a farming, and they were now able to save, they could plant, they could yes. do irrigation, they could be able to do that. Yeah. And so we want to encourage our young people to use creativity, mm -hmm. the power of storytelling and innovation to be able to solve these issues. And I mean, better way, if we speak about human uh, human and uh, wildlife conflict, mm -hmm. we cannot avoid these young Kajiado, um, young Masai Kajiado yes, Tulele, who was able to innovate a lighting system that was able to um, when they used to have a lot of li lions who used to have lions and human conflict, yeah. where lions would come and, of course, they were on their uh, goats Cattle and cattle and everything. Yeah. And he was able to solve that problem through mm -hmm. that lighting. Yes. And they no longer used, now lions were being killed there, now lions are not killed. Yeah. That's an innovation that is being used across Africa yes. and across the world. Yes. From a Kenyan. That, that is a great example of <laughs> grassroots conversation yes. Yes. and yeah. change that is yeah. impacted right to the mm. people that are directly, you know, interacting with this conflict. Yes, yeah, so I, I think that is that. That is, they are definitely, you guys are always doing stuff. So I like that something is always yeah. going on, like for our boy. When she lives here, but I, I really need to give me the next appointment because this might be 2024, July. The next time we see her, um, I want you guys to give us the social media handles for DocuBox yes. and as well as for Climate Story um, Lab Africa mm -hmm. so that we can be able to follow up. It's easier um, to follow up online to see what you are doing yeah. to be able to know how to participate. Yeah, we are on Instagram, again, mm -hmm. Climate Story Lab Africa, mm -hmm. on Facebook, Climate Story Lab Africa, mm -hmm. on uh, Twitter, again, CSL underscore Africa. Yes. So you can find us there. Uh, DocuBox again at my Doki box mm -hmm. um, across uh, on Twitter at my Doki box on uh, Instagram, uh, Doki box East Africa uh, on Facebook and LinkedIn. Yes. So you can find us there, um, Tunga Africa as well, yeah. across the platforms. Mm -hmm. So yeah, definitely we can have that conversation. The beautiful thing is that uh, KE is part of the family. Yes. Wamboi was here, yeah, I'm still here. Yes. <laughs> so we are students, we are from right, right here. here. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> which we appreciate very much. We appreciate that you guys remember to come back home. Because yeah. you could, this is a global conversation. You could be, have, be having it anywhere. <laughs> yeah. But you choose for us to come and sit down and have this conversation here. So I think this is a janta where I invite people for um, um, Cinema Tao. Uh, and just, uh, yeah, let us be there. Okay, from boy. Absolutely, yeah. yeah. Um, Karibuni sana. Uh, it's totally free. Yes. So tell a friend to tell a friend. Yeah, um, yeah and it's, it's, a, it's the best way to actually yeah. make use of your time before you go home. So, Karibuni. Yeah. Kumbuka tu mambo ni mata. Don't fail to eat CBD right at the yeah. heart of Nairobi yeah. city. We have so many foreigners coming from different countries and Karibu sana Kenya. Um, but also Kenyans, this is a time to yes, see our you, stories. You are, yeah, someone is yeah. playing, traveling, mm -hmm. flying. These are yeah. films on, <laughs> Nash, uh, on Nat Geo. These are films on uh, very wide platforms yes. um, that are showing. This is a chance to see them for free yeah. and be part of the conversation. So don't miss to be 
at the CBD. Hilton, Kencom, opposite Kencom, yes. come join the conversation, be part of it, and let's say all of us find a solution to the climate crisis that we, we are facing. Exactly. So, like they have said, this one is free of charge. And uh, we're sorted because it go in the middle of town, right there. So, make time and go there. And also, I like the fact that it's an entire week. So, what I'm going to plan for tomorrow plan for Wednesday mm -hmm. until mm -hmm. Friday. Thank you guys for joining Thank us. You, oh boy, am I going to be seeing you for the Halloween edition? <laughs> because me, I'm just... You have to come. Yeah? <laughs> <laughs> Absolutely. You'll see okay. me there. <laughs> I will see you there. But thank you so much for yeah. making time. I know you're busy people, busy schedules, but thank you for making time thank for, for us having and us. Thank Monday. You. It's always a pleasure. Ladies and gentlemen, that is where we wrap it up. I'm a courtesy of um, Africa Climate Summit and just the conversation on climate. And now we are bringing film into this conversation conversation and we are happy remember we i will remind you this again on our art calendar but we are running from today monday to friday 6 p.m all the way to 9 p.m opposite hilton hotel um free of charge come and watch some nice artwork um exhibitions uh screen short films that are going to just blow your mind about how meticulously they have they have been put feature films and docu films just come and enjoy and then there will of course be some music so come and support kenyan music i think that is all about it we want to go for a short break. When we come back, we still have one more conversation to go and a lot to discuss because we are still talking matters, our Did You Know segment. We have dances that are going on. We, we just have a lot for you. You just need to stick around. I don't want to live here without getting the feedback. Harry, Harry Makara is saying KUTV locked. Musa Wanjora. And I say my lovely show. Thank you very much, Musa. Um, Mark, Mark, Mark Mwangi Washira. And I say my seems to be nice to be part of DocuBox. Yeah, it is nice. <laughs> Trust me. <laughs> and I said, wouldn't mind to get an appointment with you guys as an editor. Would can oh, there be nice. an opportunity? Cinema Tower. Cinema, no, you. Yeah. Well, put your cinema tower. <laughs> then when you see one boy, you see Ken. Just, you know, take a hold of them and ask, can there be an opportunity to do that? Yeah. Kenneth, Kenneth Kimathi. And I said, I'm locked listening to my super and brilliant uh, brother, Ken. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you very much. <laughs> Wahu Tracy. And I said, I tuned in to the best morning show. Thank you very much. I also saw um, Okenye somewhere. I am going to be getting to you. in Oh, Richard Okenye. And I said, better late than ever. Thank you. Better late than never. Hi, Karen love what our climate story lab is up to thank you thank you very much we have loved and enjoyed the conversation and as you can see our audiences are right they are in here they yeah, are in this conversation here. ladies and gentlemen that's why we put a comma at exactly 9 a.m i am leaving you with the indian dances from performances from our our uh, fashion diaries show and we are great to be having them right about now <laughs>